Hey there, it's Ashley here with Createful Art and I am traveling and painting in all 50 US states. Today I am in Burlington, Vermont and I'm going to paint Lake Champlain and some sailboats because it's beautiful and I love sailboats. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to get my big wide fat brush and I'm going to lay down my main colors on here so that I can go over the top with the details. For the lake, I'm going to be using my Brilliant Blue and my Follow Cyan Green Blue shade and a lot of white. For my pink, I'm going to be using Quadro Cyan Magenta and Nathal Crimson and a lot of white. Okay, just grab a lot of water on your brush and bring that color across. Just go across like this and don't worry about any different colors like that showing right there. You're just going to blend as you go across. For the mountains, I'm going to use the same color and I'm adding a little more blue and a little more gray. I'm not going to worry about it to being perfectly exactly the way that it is back there. I'm just going to bring it across and I'm going to let these mountains kind of form back here. So I'm just going to bring this across right here to make sure I have a horizontal line. And this is just the undercoat so all this will be going over in some way or another and then you need to get your sky in. So I'm just going to blend over this okay, and you'll still be able to see where my mountains were. It's just going to be very hazy back there. And then I'll go over the top of those. Okay, I'm gonna add some more white and some more blue as I go up. Then I grab that color that's down here. Okay, and as you can see out there, it's the same color as up here. That's what makes it so pretty. And I don't even wash out my brush. So now I'm going to work on the mountains in the back and I'm just going to kind of find a good spot and make some mountains back there. The sun's going down really fast. So I added a little bit of black into my color and I'm making a shade darker for the islands that are closer up and they're full of trees so I'm going to add some texture. Okay, so really simple. I'm going to finish up the sky by putting a little clouds in it and I'm really not going to put a lot of detail in that. So for this next step you have to be pretty quick. And you're going to be adding the color that's in the sky into the water. You're going to be adding a darker blue and some light. So I'm just going to use the same brush. To be brave and go across and let there be breaks between your strokes. Okay, as you come closer you have to get wider.
Okay, so now you're gonna add in the sailboats and you can place the sailboats wherever you want because they have all come back in. So <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend they're there. I'm gonna use my small flat brush for this and I'm gonna look at the shapes out there and I'm basically just painting the shapes where I see them and where I want them to be. All you do is need to step back and look and see what you want to add to your painting and then you're done. Just make it your own and be creative. Thank you so much for these Crate Pull Art members that are listed here. For making this video possible, you can become a Crate Pull Art member too. There's a link in the description. And there are a lot of fun things that I give you for being one, one including a reference photo that you're probably gonna need for this. So thank you for creating with me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.